Hey everyone, so welcome to Orion Speechy. And what are we gonna discuss today? It is NMES, Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation. So NMES is mainly used in patients with dysphagia. One is to strengthen the weakened muscles of swallowing, and another is to reduce the pain. So this is done using vital stim therapy that has been approved by FDA in around 2002. So this can be used in various medical conditions like post-stroke dysphagia, neuromuscular conditions and traumatic injuries and even head and neck cancer. Now this can be done in two manner, one is transcutaneous manner and another is percutaneous manner. Now for transcutaneous manner, two surface electrodes that are bipolar in nature will be kept onto the particular muscles over the skin and when the current passes, it stimulates the motor unit. Motor unit is the point at which the nerve enters the muscle. We keep increasing the intensity. So for lower intensity, it will be stimulating the superficial tissues. While if you increase the intensity at higher points, it will stimulate the deep tissues. So for prepping the patient, we clean the patient's neck regions with an alcohol swab and then two electrodes will be kept in submental area and also in the laryngeal area. Submental area, the electrode is kept for stimulating the myelohyoid muscle that is to elevate the hyoid. Larynx, we keep the electrode to stimulate the thyrohyoid muscle that is to bring the larynx close to the hyoid. Now, NMES therapy is usually done for 3 to 5 days a week for an hour according to the patient's need and it might continue even for a month long. So why we do it in patients with head and neck cancer is because after chemotherapy and radiation, there might be issues with swallowing also. Most of the things, so the major issues they face are there might be poor laryngeal closure, then there might be cricopharyngeal dysfunction, there can also be poor uh, hyolaryngeal elevation and thus there might be pooling of secretions in the pharyngeal areas. So if you combine traditional therapy with NMES, this can show a huge progress in swallowing therapy and their swallowing functions. So I hope you understood today's topic, it was a small short one and let me know in comments what do you want to learn next. Thank you, bye bye.